Okay, unboxing. I ordered two things to well, me to order from Dior with two codes. And I'm super. Oh, how beautiful is that packaging? Oh my goodness. Wow, that's a pretty big box. Hold on, let me get this out. Okay, well, okay. So this is just the receipt. Oh, this is so pretty. Okay. No. Okay. Okay. Am I going to mess this up? I'm trying not to mess this up. Okay. Here we go. <clears throat> what did I get? Okay, so I got some more of the lipstick cases and, um, okay, I got uh, the four that they were offering. So remember, I don't know if you remember, these are the lipstick cases that I got before and they came out with more. So I'm going to, I guess, kind of like... I was adding to my collection here. So these are the ones that I had from before. And this is the Rose Montaigne. sucker for these okay so if you want to compare this is really close so this one is shinier and it has the canage print right and this one is smooth and kind of pleathery okay but other than that they are very very similar so you could probably just get one, depending on what you prefer. Unless you were just like, I want to have all of them, like me. <laughs> okay. And then here, which one is this one? Let's see. Yeah. Okay. So this is the white one. <clears throat> it has so I'm gonna try to get as close as possible and like zoom in for you this is like canvas but it's coated it's coated with some kind of plastic so I wasn't initially gonna get this because I thought it was canvas it was gonna get too dirty like this right here um, is a fabric but it has a good amount of color so I think this is the one I'm currently using. I'm a little scared to use this in my bag because it's so pretty, but it's also fabric. And I'm a little bit scared of lipstick getting on this. So I kind of want to see how the other one does. Um, but this one, whoop, try to get as close as possible. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, it's plasticky, but it's canvas on the inside. I think the Dior is printed on the plasticky bit. So that's nice. So you could just wipe it off if something gets on it. So I like that. <clears throat> okay, here's the next one. Oh my goodness, we are struggling today. Here is the red one. It feels um, like vinyl, like plasticky. It feels like vinyl-y compared to this one. So you can see the difference between these. So the design is very similar. It's in that same canage type 
but this one has more of a groove on it and this one's shiny. So this one is still plasticky, but it's slightly mattified. So I'm just sharing my thoughts as I open it. So, you know, if, if you have a certain preference on what you like, what you don't like. So this one is the Dior one that I should have got as soon as it came out, but then they, uh, re they sold out, they restocked and then jacked up the price 20 bucks. So it's like, uh. But this is the online exclusive Dior, and this is a canvas. So if you get lipstick on this, it probably won't come off, but it's also in red, so it might be. Yeah, this is way overpriced. They had this at the same price as everything when it first came out, and then it went up because I didn't move fast enough. And by the time I moved around to like getting it, I was like, oh yeah, I should get that. It was sold out. Okay, so... Do you need all of these? Probably not. I mean, these are similar but different. So yeah, if you wanna kinda try to decide which, so I got, I like all these cases so much, but I actually don't really like the formulation of the lipstick, which is really sad. So I haven't, um, cause, they kind of like slide around a bit and they're like kind of um, slippery and um, so this is blooming pink I believe no this was no this was no I'm sorry this was a different color I think it was Dior 8 and um, this the one in here is blooming pink But I haven't got as many colors as to match the lipstick case. I rotate the lipstick cases depending on how I feel. Um, all right, what is this? So I put in a code. Oh, I think this is my silver welcome gift. So. Okay, hold on. Okay. Oh, this is nice. So I got this for free, I guess, because I bought a bunch of stuff. And I'm kind of interested to try out the serum. Um, this is a Jador perfume, I think. I think this is a red. Oh, it's nice. It's like a smaller size, mini lipstick. So this compared to this size. So you know. Um, oh, this is pretty. This actually box is pretty good quality. It's like pretty sturdy. So you could probably keep it, keep some other stuff in it, like stationary stuff or something like that. I'm super impressed with this gift box. It is like pretty nice. Um, this was the fluffy. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's actually kind of nice. It was a free item. It's a pink fluffy cosmetic pouch and it's actually pretty fluffy. So it's a little bit thicker than your usual cosmetic pouch. It definitely has a fluffy, came a little bit nicked, but who cares. Um, that's interesting. I actually like this more than I thought I would. It's uh, fluffy. It's it's thicker and it looks like a wipeable material on the inside so this is actually nice um some of the dior pouches are nicer than others i've noticed this one's i think on the nicer side it's really cute um what else do we have here should we go through this one okay i got this i was on the fence it is skin mattifying paper this was like overpriced do you know what i mean so this was like, I think, expensive for what it is. Um, it's skin blotting paper. I think it was like 35 bucks. Yep. But um, I got this. It was kind of overpriced, but if you open it, it has a mirror and you get a hundred sheets. So this is 
fluffy, it's cushiony. Um, it might get smushed if you use it a lot. But um, if you're looking for something that can maybe, you can maybe use this and if you like it, you can, this is a limited edition, I think. And um, if you run out of these packets, um, I'll open this for you because I know it has like Dior on it, which is like unnecessarily bougie, I guess, if you want to whip out your um, bougie blotting paper. There you go. Um, so I think it's 100 sheets. Okay, and then you kind of slide it in here. And then I think there's like a, a thing you can just like kind of stick it in. Yep. And then you can probably find something like the blotting paper to um, replace this. And then you can hold the whole thing together with this. Okay. So was it worth the money? Probably not. It's probably a waste of money, but if you like having an extra, um, you know, mirror in your purse, here is an extra mirror. That's what really kind of pushed me over the edge and getting it because when I look in the mirror in other, you know, eyeshadow palettes or, or compacts or things like that, I'm always worried that the powder is going to fall out all over my hands and stuff. So, you know, is it... Is it unnecessary? I think so. You know, there's blotting paper out there for cheaper. Okay, and let's take a look at some of the freebies. Got the Sauvage. And that's not for me. <clears throat> I'm going to give it to my husband. And let's see. This is the mirror. So I put in a code. Uh, I'll try to find that code for you. I'll put it in the description. But I saw this mirror online from other YouTubers and I was like, oh, that's really cute. And I was looking to add a few mirrors. That's why I got the blotting paper because, oh, because of the, you know, powder fallout thing. So I've been doing some makeup on the go and things like that. And I don't have to want to deal with powder fallout. So that's what it looks. Oh, we're breaking the fourth wall here. That's nice. It's a good quality. This is also cushiony. It's plasticky on this side. It's cushiony on this side. So this will, you know, smush and depress if you have it smushed in with other things in your bag. I put in, so a code, I believe, or no, I'll, I'll put in all the codes that I put in. I'll remember them. I got the Greed Dior. So that's cool. And I got this one. Oud is pen. Oud is pen. And I have another one of these, so I have two of those. What is this? Oh, I got two. Two of these. Wow. Okay. It's a lot. And I got. Ooh, Rose Pig Kabuki. All right. And I got this lovely pouch. So that is my first Dior old order. That is quite a lot. I'm gonna try to set it up to make a pretty picture. And hold on a second. Okay guys, and that is the final shot of everything unboxed. And I have to say, I mean, this is quite a satisfying haul. You know, I'm super happy with everything I got. And, um, yeah, this, this is actually, it's like super satisfying. So I, this is part one of my Dior haul. Um, I will post the, uh, code to get all this stuff. Um, this is the Welcome Silver and I believe this was the LCP, something with the generic mirror, definitely. So I will post that down below. Um, there's some other... There's a ton of codes going on right now. Um, I wanted to get the Capture 23, but that was over by the time I looked it up. But I will list several codes down below. All right, part two, coming up.